Good morning. Today is a new day and a much better day out of the funk of yesterday. So the last mile yesterday, I got poured on. We got a shuttle back to the hotel. Moss got her new phone. She got her hair cut yesterday. Hopefully that truck didn't mask her saying it was super cute. Um, so I spent some, so she got a new phone, got all that set up yesterday evening back here in town. While she was doing that, I had, I came back, took a hot shower and got my, um, got a YouTube video uploaded and edited at Starbucks. And right now we're walking to Cracker Barrel for breakfast. So there's three, two and a half shuttle drivers in the area. The half is like, we call him, he's not really doing it anymore. He said if we were like in dire straits, he could maybe help us, but he didn't we really wasn't into it. The shuttle driver we've used twice around this area it has something going on like a work thing all day and couldn't shuttle till this evening. And then our lady Barb that shuttled us yesterday had an appointment at 10 a.m. this morning. She said it would be at least noon probably before she could get get us and get us back to the trail. Which, you know, that's good because as you all saw at the end of my last video, a little bit of a break is good. We're not ready to zero or anything, but here's our plan. As always, these are subject to change. We, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Um, our plan. So it's a good plan. I like this plan. <laughs> We're only going to do 11 today, but that could be miserable in the rocks. Who knows? In the rain. So it's raining right now, just a light drizzle. Rained all night. Uh, there's some storming. And it's supposed to stop before we get on trail, or about the time we get on trail. There's chances chance that some van came, came around this curve, like completely on the shoulder, like about to take us out. Woo! Okay. No idea what I was saying before I, my life flashed before my eyes. Um, Rain is oh. our plan for the day plan for the day yeah so barb's gonna pick us up around noonish we're gonna after cracker barrel we're gonna get our stuff together back at the hotel and then we're gonna go um to starbucks and hang out i'm gonna finish all the youtube stuff that i need to do barb will pick us up take us a trail we're gonna do 11 miles then barb's gonna pick us up again and take us back to her she has an airbnb um and so we're going to stay with Barb tomorrow, or excuse me, tonight. And she told us there's a brewery near her house that she'll take us to in the evening tonight. So, and um, Moss told me to clarify that the brewery is what made this plan come together. Because, you know, Moss and I can't resist breweries. Anyway, walking into the Cracker Barrel. Cannot wait. I've been craving a sampler sampler breakfast from Cracker Barrel for like at least 900 miles. All right, we're finished eating at Cracker Barrel. It was good, but let me tell you, I was disappointed. I'll probably never crave Cracker Barrel again. All I've been thinking about was a sampler platter and they've like redone their menu and they've taken all the good stuff off. <laughs> So now it's like a build your own thing. <laughs> so I got basically the sampler minus half the stuff the sampler used to come with. Um, I think I got everything that it used to come with except the apples and maybe one other thing. But I think it used to be like eight fifty or nine bucks. My breakfast before tip was 16 and change for a sampler and a coffee. Anyway, we got a cracker brow, we're full, all is well. Headed back to the hotel to regroup and get ready to go to Starbucks. Hard day this morning. Oh, I can't do this. I can't carry full food. <laughs> are we not eating or are we gonna do day hikes? <laughs> it's 10.22 a.m. Walking up to Starbucks to finish up the YouTube and drink some coffee. Um, our shuttle driver hopefully will be here in like two hours. Oh, I don't know why I've been sharing my plans with you all. Because they're... It seems like they're nothing more than ideas. That rarely materialize. We don't know what's happening today now. So, another thing Moss has been dealing with. She got a 
uh, a package somebody sent to her, like a care package, to Pine Grove. And if you remember, that's where we went, and it happened to be the Juneteenth holiday and they were closed. It was sent priority mail, so that means the four package should be able to be bounced forward. So for two days now, or three days, she's been dealing with the Postal Service. Finally, they tell her today, the package can't be bounced. So she needs to get this box, which is now a ways behind us. I calculated and I thought it would be a shuttle of at least like 80 bucks, but she asked the shuttle driver how far uh, Pine Grove was, and the response was too far. <laughs> Oh, 37 miles. So that's a round trip. That'd be, that's a, yeah, about an $80 shuttle drive. So, uh, <laughs> and if we do that, there's no way, there's no way we can hike today and make all the times just don't work because she can't pick us up till noon. And the whole plan included a brewery trip this late, this eve, early evening. So, we don't know what's gonna happen. We're just kind of waiting. I, I called a, I phoned a friend in the postal service and I'm hoping we can work some magic and get this pat, package uh, bounced. So if so, the day will be saved. If not, zero. Moss and Steve may be hiking zero miles today. <laughs> um, which, Oops. <laughs> Oops! We're super good at zeros. Oh well, we're still on track to be just fine. We've been doing decent mileage and all lately, so... By lately, I mean like the last three days. So... Okay, two and a half. Anyway... We did a really good job on those two and a half. We did do a very good job on the rocks in those two and a half days. Alright, we'll figure it out in a bit. Postal situation crisis averted. My cousin saved the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but now we've been thinking about zero, and so I don't know what's going to happen. The shuttle driver is going to be early. I think she's going to get us at 11.15, so that's coming up soon. Um, we're still trying to work out a couple other details, so we're either hiking 11 miles and then going to a brewery and staying at the shuttle driver's uh, Airbnb at her house, or we're just going to her house and going to the brewery and hiking tomorrow. See, either way, we're gonna do all the things. It's just, we're not sure in what order and what days we're gonna do them. Guess what? We stuck to a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of us. We're hiking. So our shuttle driver, Barb, picked us up uh, brought us to the trail. We're going to do, I think, 11.5. And she's going to pick us up again. So we're sticking to that original plan. And Moss is still yawning behind me. So yesterday, Moss ran ahead of me. Um, she told me today that's not going to happen, but we'll see. I think once she gets woken up, she's going to be flying. Especially when she knows the faster she gets done, the faster she can get some uh, to, a brewery. to a brewery. The trail is muddy. I think part of this may have been a creek normally, but it's just water everywhere. Oh, there's a tent already. I'm actually ready to start climbing so we can get up above all this water. It's kind of eerie and foggy and misty. It sounds like it's raining, but I think it's pretty much all just water on the leaves falling down. I'm two miles in for the day, and there was a big climb. I've done about a thousand foot of the climb, like the bulk of the climb. There's still a little higher to go, but it's all, the map makes it look pretty gradual the next like 100 or two feet. And then after that, it's kind of just a lot of little bitty ups and downs, almost flat looking for the rest of the hike today. And I'm afraid to say this, but there have been a couple of rocky spots, but none of them have lasted very long. And as far as the rocks go, first two miles have been like dang near perfect. Um, 
We've been told though, the stretch we're doing today is one of the worst ones. So I don't know, hopefully not. The one thing is the more trail and PA that we get that's not rocky, we're getting the miles done. So that means there's less miles that are gonna be rocky. All right, so I spoke too soon about the trail being so nice. We've been in this for a couple minutes now. And, it, <laughs> and it's- That rock just, moves. <laughs> Thanks. And Moss is up ahead now, letting me know where the trouble spots are. Uh, okay, I gotta put this down before I bust my butt. We just went by the Dan's pulpit view. There was zero view, completely socked in with fog. Couldn't see 10 feet. Just past a huge group of like scout, boy scouts, I guess. At least, I don't know, there's probably at least 20 of them. So I didn't do any video on over there. But here we are. Can you guess what state this is? Roxylvania. I don't have anything to say. Today is going great. We just came through. We love Pennsylvania. These rocks behind. And I, I just stopped and <laughs> said some words because like we, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. I can see six blazes from where I stand. <laughs> and they're in, I can see seven blazes. It's a maze. Eight blazes and nine, ten blazes. And the, it's like a fan here, here, like the rocks are the here. size of cars. Oh yeah. I'm going to turn this around, but there won't be any perspective. But yeah, like Moss said, these rocks are like the size of Volkswagens. Okay. We're at way up high. These are, and that's down. What you see there is 40 feet below us, maybe more, but a ways away, like 50 yards away. And this is what we have to climb down. Huh? All right, I guess we got to do it. Little chap reporting live on Fox News. <laughs> Just wanted everybody to know, Chap and Moss made it through alive. <laughs> Continuing north. Divorce. So pack up, go home, you're through. Okay, we got 3.7 miles to go today. And we're back to a really cruisy trail. It's like an old gravel roadbed, so it's still on rock, like hard surface, but you can cruise on it. So we're hoping it stays like this the rest of the, the way. There was a southbound guy a while back that told us we had three rough miles coming and then four smooth sailing miles we've already done the three rough miles and it's been smooth sailing for a bit so i'm hoping he's right so one thing that i've realized and keep in mind my videos are about two weeks 10 days to 14 days uh, delayed to give me time to edit and upload and all that so today the video aired uh, where I did the half gallon challenge and I've been getting tons of comments about as, where is the wooden spoon trophy. Somehow it slipped my mind. I never put it in that video. So I'm going to insert a pic right here. I mean, that was a pretty cool spoon, right? Like, um, probably wasn't worth the half gallon ice cream. Shuttle driver Barb picked us up at the trailhead. She earned her trail name, NASCAR, because she drives these roads like she's a NASCAR driver. But we made it here um, all in one piece. 
she dropped us off at the brewery first and she took our packs and everything back. So we'll let her know when we're ready here and then we'll go back to Barb's house. And she's also cooked dinner. So she includes dinner and breakfast um, and laundry and showers and all that as well. So, and shuttles. So not a bad deal all in all. So the beer here is, um, I don't know, it's not my favorite. I've had two different kinds and they're both okay, but they're, they've got a weird aftertaste. It's almost too malty or something. Um, but you like yours? Um, Moss, for some reason I couldn't think of Moss's name for a second. Uh, Moss likes hers. She, she got her a good hazy IPA. So we'll be here for a bit and then we'll head back to uh, Barb's place. Good morning. I didn't really close out last night. Um, we are at the Rooster's Coop bed and breakfast. It's been a great stay. We had some good dinner last night and breakfast this morning. Good hot shower and the shuttles to and from the trail are included. All right, we'll see you back on trail shortly. Stribalba Station Bridge, built in 1869. They just restored it two years ago. That's from the voice of NASCAR, our shuttle driver. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm on video. AKA okay. Barb. And Check this Chicken out. Mama. I'm a Chicken Mama. Okay, this is a lot of, they took it all apart and they restored all the wood. So, uh, interior, this is the original wood. Like all the carvings and signatures. Oh, this is awesome. Yes. This, and this tour is for free. <laughs> All right, NASCAR, our shuttle driver, has officially accepted her trail name of NASCAR. And Moss said we had to go to this general store so she can get ice cream before we go back to hike. All right, we're back on trail after a great night at the uh, B&B. &B. Thank you, Barb, Tom, and John for being such great hosts. And it was pretty awesome because Barb accepted a trail name we gave her. We started calling her NASCAR because, well, she drives like she's a NASCAR driver. I'm not sure if I said this earlier or not, but it was right at 11 o'clock this morning by the time we got started hiking and when we got dropped off. Um, we're hoping to do 15 at least, maybe 19 today, but it's all going to depend on the rocks because from what we understand between here and Delaware Water Gap, the next 50 miles is the bulk of the bad rocks. So, so far the first like two miles today have been pretty easy. Um, but as you can see, this up this first climb is nothing but boulders and I think we're going to have a lot of that. All right. We believe... We are getting to the knife's edge. All right, moss is one level of rocks above me. And you can see up this blade of ridge and the rock scramble. I'm probably gonna go and strap my poles to my pack to climb this. All right, here we are on top of the knife's edge, the blade, if you will. I decided I'm holding my poles in my hand still. I did not strap them. All right, we're almost to the peak there. This may be a while. I don't know how far it is. We just got up on the top. And look at this view from Knife's Edge. Beautiful. Man, this climb across Knife's Edge is like the first like real rock scramble, hands and feet, bouldering. It's fun. It'd be more fun if we weren't trying to do a bunch of miles today. I don't think we'll be doing a bunch of miles, but... Here's where we're headed. Whew, we made it. What did we just do, Moss? Knife's Edge. Yes, ma'am. We just finished Knife's Edge. And so far, we're both unscathed. This is the first time I'm not using poles. I just left them in my pack for a few minutes. Let's see how I like that. Hope I don't face plant. Well, we've had another delay, but it was a happy delay. We had the Allentown, Pennsylvania Hiking Club. Had a heck of a trail magic, man. They had everything. They had toothbrushes. They had, you name it, they had it. 
we had some hot dogs and some snacks and fill up our waters and sat there for quite a while, well over an hour. And now we're back on the move. So, you know, sometimes things happen that it was fun to stop and talk to all them. And, you know, we may just not do as many miles today. I think we're now aiming for about another eight and a half for the day. It should give us 13 and a half or 14 for the day. Which is pretty good considering we didn't really start hiking until 11 a.m. We sat at the Trail Magic and there's tons of rocks. Let me show you what we're about to deal with. Almost a 360 here, yeah, at least a 180. Yep. So we are just absolutely baffled and just walking through it, talking about what the heck's going on. Moss said, are you gonna video this? I'm like, I don't even know what to say about it. So in this power line, there's clearly construction going on and they just have orange mesh like all over for, I mean, for a long way over all the boulders and then mulch piled in places i don't know if this is like safer or worse part of the places you step the mesh just gives way and you fall in between the boulders so you really don't know what you're stepping on and it's like a trail reroute they've got these posts driven into the ground like right here with the blaze on it Huh, this is something else. All right, so we've been doing nothing but um, rock surfing and bouldering today. We we're planning to go at least 13 and a half to this next shelter where there's water. It's, I don't know, 4.30 or something, and we're questioning that. This rocks just take so much more time. We've had fun today, but it's just been, it takes time. We also stayed with that trail magic for a long time. So we've been praying that there was some, a water cache that we saw could be right here. And there is water in this cooler. So we can fill up all our water and we can camp wherever the heck we want from this point forward. Oh, I didn't understand. All right, one other thing I wanted to talk about, I didn't give a full review on um, the B&B &B we stayed at. Um, Barb was awesome. Her husband, Tom, and John were great. They were great hosts. Everything about the place was perfect. It was a great value so those of you that are coming behind us it's a little the, the initial sticker looks a little higher but um it includes food and shuttles and everything so, and it's like a private suite in their home my personal favorite part about the whole thing had to be john breakfast was great this morning john made us toast it was oh, italian john made, a, john made the toast it was italian bread and irish butter he did such a good best job. toast i ever had thanks john and by the way you have the coolest Star Wars shirt. What was your favorite part about the the stay there, Moss? I would have to say the omelet. The omelet. The omelet was good too. So it took 1,260 miles or so to find the most perfect campsite I've ever seen. It's in a fern forest with cedars. It is perfectly plush. Moss just said it feels like walking on a mattress. Just these thick pine needles. And it looks like, like nobody's even been using it. The pine needles are just completely flat, plush. Look at this. There are even rock recliners built here around a fire ring. Like this is beautiful. And as long as no one else shows up to try to share it with us, it'd be dang near perfect. Hello, good evening. I'm sitting in a recliner at a campsite. <laughs> Moss is in a recliner over there. Man, this is like heavenly. This is like the most beautiful campsite I've seen on trail, I think. The only thing that could make it better is if there was like some rushing water somewhere. Anyway, about today, as you saw, we woke up at the B&B, &B, had a great time there. Didn't get hiking until 11 a.m. And by hiking, I, we didn't even hike. <laughs> we went rock surfing. We went bouldering. I kind of miss hiking. Anyway, um, it took, we started late, and then we, there was a, a big trail magic put on by the Allentown 
hiking club and they were really nice people we stayed there i don't know well over an hour and then we went rock climbing some more we did knife's edge today which was really cool i actually kind of had fun i think moss had fun too on knife's edge it was we, dance party. she did have a dance party up there on one spot that was kind of flat so we only did 10.3 i think today but you know we started late and the rocks take a while we're still making northward progress and you know my goal at this point is pretty much always as long as they get 100 miles a week we're doing really good or close to it some weeks you get 95 some weeks you get 120 but anyway as long as you 100 miles you're wonderful um we've done 90 already this week and we have one more day because we do our miles sunday to saturday so we'll be well over 100 miles even with a few short days i'm sitting here eating some macaroni and cheese right now and um you know, I'm just really content. Got a great campsite, got a great chair. Hiking partner? Not so great of a hiking partner, but everything <laughs> else is good. I'm just kidding, Moss. Um, yeah, life is really good. We're gonna do, we're gonna try to get up early tomorrow. Here we go again, telling you our plans. So when I say we're gonna get up early at like five or six, we'll probably be rolling out here at 8.30. Uh, <laughs> We have, uh, what's it called? L Lay High Gap tomorrow, which is a steep down and a steep up. We go over the Lay High River or Lahey River, and it's supposed to be just like a boulder climb straight up that's famous. So it's going to take us a while. We're going to start early, get as many miles as we can, and then we'll probably do the same. We got 41 miles, I think, to get to Delaware Water Gap, where we may or may not zero. I think what we're going to do, though, is do as many as we can tomorrow and the next day and try to stop just two or three miles out of Delaware Water Gap on Sunday night, get into town early Monday morning, do all of our chores. We're kind of wanting to go to a movie theater and see the new Top Gun movie. And then there's a brewery. Um, <laughs> so we're going to probably get into town early, do our chores and do all that maybe. And then maybe leave late in the day on tuesday so just nero in nero out or maybe zero tuesday <gasps> who knows all right anyway the video is getting long enough have a good night everybody i'll see you next time